Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Vanadium is poised to play a major role in facilitating energy storage. Mining Weekly editor Martin Kremer tells us more about this. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Shannon. Can you tell us a bit about vanadium and how it can be used to store energy? Yeah, you know, vanadium has been known in these parts for a long time. Highfeld Steel and Vanadium out at Whitbank, it was developed by Anglo American. It's now owned by the, the Russians, of course, uh, Roman Abramovich, the person who owns the Chelsea Football Club. He's taken that over. But all of a sudden, we're hearing a lot more about vanadium. And um, it's related to energy storage. Uh, we used to associate the use of vanadium with strengthening steel as an ingredient in steel. And that is still a, a great use for it. And there's still going to be big demand there because there are certain codes that have changed in China which are demanding more uh, um, use of vanadium in, in rebar, etc. But the big story is around the, the use of uh, vanadium for, for energy storage. And I think last year we had uh, President Obama when he said uh, vanadium redox fuel cell. He said, that's one of the coolest things I've ever said out loud. <laughs> that's what he said at a conference last year. So the Americans are looking at it because they feel that the <coughs> electricity grid uh, is the biggest supply chain without a warehouse. Mm. So, you know, you never store the electricity. Mm. Uh, it just gets, the coal gets burnt in the South Africa's case and it continues to get burnt. And if that uh, offtake doesn't take place, well, you know, it's gone. Mm. So uh, storage is going to be a big thing in the future. Now, China commissioned three different battery banks in December yes. as part of the initial phase um, battery test facility, with one being for vanadium. Um, can you tell us about this, um, as well as the role that vanadium plays in this? This is very recent. Eh? It happened in December that I think the West woke up to this. So the Americans have been talking about uh, doing quite a lot more with uh, vanadium flow batteries to store energy, to store electricity, etc. But in the East, uh, the Chinese, <laughs> they get going on it. So they've already got uh, three different test banks. And one of these test banks, I think they spent $2 billion on it, which is like small fry for these Chinese. This is just the first phase. One of them involves uh, vanadium flow batteries. So they're going to test that. And um, <coughs> this is giving a lot of confidence to, to some of the vanadium miners around the world. Because they're saying that, you know, <coughs> these vanadium flow batteries, they use a lot of vanadium because mm. normally you have uh, two different metals, a positive and a negative, but in this case, the vanadium is both the positive and the, and the negative uh, in, in dilute sulfuric acid. Um, <coughs> so the, the story there is that uh, China is, is serious about storing energy, and a lot of people thought it was just around renewables, you know, that when the, the wind didn't blow, well, you would have stored some of the power in a battery mm. in, a, in a smallish uh, wind power system that's not like the big base load power that we've got with our big power stations and the same with the sun you know when the sun wasn't shining you could still uh, send out the electrical current because you had stored it in a battery but the Chinese said to uh, the people who have queried this no 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 it's not just about renewable energy we're talking about 10 percent of the total energy generation in China mm. being stored <laughs> now you know, that um, uh, ears pricked up on that because uh, th that will give birth to an enormous industry, you know. So people are saying, well, although the, the, the vanadium price is languishing a bit now, uh, the prospects for it look good. So it will work similar then to a fuel cell? Well, it's, it's, um, <coughs> it's not a fuel cell as such, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, it, it's almost like a capacitor. Mm. It, it, it stores this uh, electricity uh, and it can dispatch it. So <coughs> while, you know, say during the night, we've been doing it in South Africa. Uh, many years ago, we built the Drakensberg pump storage scheme, which is a very big battery. Mm. What happens is that you've got the Tugela River um, which has got a lot of water in. <coughs> At night, when the South Africans are not turning on their lights, they're sleeping. <coughs> what happens is they use that excess electricity, which is not being used, to pump the water from the Tugela River up the Drakensberg mountain. <coughs> they then store it <coughs> at the top of the mountain. And all of a sudden, <coughs> at peak periods, when there's huge demand for electricity in South Africa, they release that water. And as it flies down the channel, it also turns the turbines, yes. which create the electricity. Mm. 
So it's a very big battery. So in a way, we've, we've had some storage in South Africa. We've realized the problem. But these uh, hydro uh, power um, facilities are, are, are expensive and you know you've got to have the proper site and they're quite elaborate what the world is looking at now is is um, batteries big battery systems to actually store that power and the vanadium flow battery mm -hmm. seems to be top of the list in, in, in um, many of the the areas now the vanadium demand as you said will also increase steel demand um, what effect could this have then on the price of vanadium? Yeah, so we've been used to this vanadium going into steel. Now along come the Chinese and they change their building codes, which means that uh, you know, rebar has to now contain a certain quantity of, of, of vanadium. So just that alone, people are saying, you know, could lift this vanadium price, which is I think at the moment at about $6.50 per pound. And uh, their projections uh, with the expected demand from the steel side, they believe could lift the price of vanadium to about uh, $15 a pound. They're so taking it back to, to a better height mm. that it fell from some time ago. And, and that is just the steel side of it. You know, that's not taking into account the expected demand coming from energy storage, which is on the horizon. And people are saying could uh, demand a lot of vanadium. So it looks like vanadium is the new thing to be in. Well, it's you know it's it's proved to be green. We used mm -hmm. to see it associated with 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 uh, steel, but all of a sudden, uh, like platinum, as we've been discussing here mm -hmm. for the fuel cell use, you have uh, a, a very good environmental use for for vanadium, and it's not only <coughs> you know in, in stationary generation and stationary storage. Mm -hmm. You know, if you add it to lithium, it, it also plays a big role in, in the car batteries, you know, in these electric cars. Mm. So, so that is a, a, another use. So it, I think it, South Africa is blessed with a lot of these metals and minerals. I mean, you know, America is rushing into to creating a mine uh, in Nevada, uh, a vanadium mine. Mm. Uh, I think it uh, is part of American vanadium. Mm. They have got uh, the Ghibellini project, which is going up uh, in Nevada. And that'll be the first vanadium mine, I think. <laughs> you know, it, it <coughs> some of the Canadians are also looking for some vanadium. South Africa has a huge potential. We, at one stage, were the biggest suppliers of vanadium. And I think that um, you know, we haven't really been too excited about that metal. I think <coughs> there can be some new excitement coming into it because of the fact that not only is more of it going to be used in steel, but it has this outlook for um, stationary uh, uh, sets that, that store electricity mm. and also possibly driving your car. Mm. So, you know, there are a lot of uses popping up in the same way as there are uses for, for platinum, because platinum is also, it can generate electricity, but it can also be the engine for your car and do a lot of other things in between. And that's why, you know, the South Africans are, are looking to a special economic zone mm. for platinum, because they feel that this wonder metal uh, we have here and although we're exporting it and doing well on the export front, uh, some of it could be put into a special export zone here, a special uh, economic zone for, for, for value addition, mm. making products with it, fuel cells and auto catalysts. But perhaps they should look for, you know, what the Americans have, a Silicon Valley. Perhaps they could call it the Platinum Valley, but mm. it needn't just contain platinum. Perhaps you could also have vanadium there. It could be a high tech um, base, you know, uh, uh, that, that presents low carbon opportunities to the world mm. and also solves our vexing energy problems. You know, the, the world is going crazy on how to solve its energy problem and this could be a base from which we create products mm. that solve our energy problems without which we can't do anything. We've got so used to the IT and we've got so used to our computers and everything needs to be um, linked to power and electricity. Well, it sounds so exciting. Thank you very much, Martin. It's a great pleasure, Shannon. That's the show for today. Join us again next time for more news and insight into what's happening in the mining world.